So you got yourself a Canon M50 camera and you want to see, is there some alternatives to the stock kit lens that comes with the camera? Now the kit lens is a 15 to 45 millimeter. And what I want to show you is the Canon and an 11 to 22 millimeter. Give you a little bit more wide angle view. Should come in handy for vlogging, but we're going to talk about this lens and see, is it actually worth it or not? It is the EFM mount for the Canon M50. It does have autofocus. It has an STM motor, very, very quiet. This lens has built-in stabilization in it. You know, I talked about it in the other video, when it comes to the Canon M50 and stabilization, I'll put a link right up here to that video, but to show you what it looks like with stabilization, when you have digital image stabilization enabled and then enhanced, how it just continues to crop in on the image and you get that jelly wobbly effect going on. Now, when you use this lens, definitely still do not use the enabled or the enhanced, especially the enhanced. The enable will help a little bit, although it does crop in a little bit. But some of the specs of this lens for the Canon M50, this 11 to 22 millimeter is, the aperture on this lens is a aperture of four and it goes all the way up to 5.3 and that's when you're zoomed in at 22 millimeters. And aperture is the amount of light that's being let in. So in this example here, I'm gonna show you a prime lens that is a 35 millimeter for the Canon M50. And this one here is a manual aperture that it goes, I believe it's from 1.7 on up, but the smaller the opening, the less light that comes in, but the smaller the opening, the higher the number for your aperture. So when you go lower in the number, the aperture actually opens up more. So you can see on this example lens, when it opens up, it is wide open. And what that allows is for a lot of extra light to come into the sensor. Now the standard kit lens that comes with the Canon M50, the 15 to 45 millimeter, it has an aperture of 3.5 up to 6.3. Now 6.3 is gonna be when it's all the way zoomed in at 45 millimeters. So that gives you an idea. So the more that you zoom in, the less light that is actually coming in because that aperture is starting to close down a little bit. Um, when you look at these two lenses, the kit lens versus this 11 to 22 millimeter side by side, the 11 to 22 is just slightly taller and when they're zoomed all the way out, so on the 11 to 22, when it's zoomed out to 22 and the kit lens is out to 45, it's still a little bit taller, but the big difference is gonna be the stock kit lens is primarily all plastic. And when you have this 11 to 22, this outside barrel piece, it is metal. Now when it zooms in, let me unlock the lens. So now the zoom function, when it's all the way out, you can see this part right here is made of plastic and the rest of the body is metal. Now the question is, the, you know, they always say the kit lenses, ignore kit lens with a camera because the image quality is just not going to be very good. And when you get a specialized lens like this one here, the 11 to 22, or if you get a prime lens that is a fixed focal length, you're going to have better glass. So is there a little bit better image with the 11 to 22 versus the kit lens? A little bit better, but I don't use this camera for photography. My wife, she is the photographer of the family uh, and she really likes Nikon. So. Uh, as you can see, we went out and we shot some blue bonnet pictures and I got some drone footage of the blue bonnets and she's out there shooting with her Nikon and I like video. So I use this camera for video. The Canon M50, it does offer 4K. Don't use it unless you're ready to understand that you're gonna have number one, a very major crop. So it's gonna crop in that image a lot. So when you're shooting 4K with the Canon M50, definitely go manual on the focus and choose a lens that will accommodate for that crop factor. And if you use the 11 to 22, when you're at 11 millimeter, it will help out tremendously. Uh, the 11 millimeter comes out to, I believe, about a 20 in 1080p mode 
on the Canon M50 and it comes out to like a 25-ish, 26-ish when you're in 4K. So just kind of keep that in mind. But I wanted to show you just some footage of the kit lens versus this lens. I'm gonna use it with a gimbal uh, so that we get some nice stable footage, obviously. And uh, what I'll also do is just, I'll change out lenses just real quick right now, just so you can see the difference between the two. So right now it's at 15 to 45. It's at a 15 millimeter on a kit lens. And now we're gonna switch over to this 11 to 22. So right now I've got the 11 to 22 on. It is at 11 millimeters. So you can see there's a lot more real estate in the image is this something for a youtuber is this something for a studio setup i'll let you know exactly how far away i am from the camera if i go just a hair closer i will actually be touching the lens so that's how close that i am to the to the camera but you see it still gives you a nice wide angle view which can come in handy for vlogging scenarios so Let's go ahead and check out some outdoor footage with the stock kit lens and with this lens and we'll check back for final thoughts. So this is with using the 11 to 22 millimeter. Right now it's out at 11 millimeters and I'm using a gimbal with it because, you know, the Canon M50, very good camera. Stabilization, if you use the digital image stabilization, it makes you really wonky and kind of all over the place. But when you use a three axis gimbal, it helps out tremendously. But you can see now it's a nice sunny day, nice field of view. Everything should be, should be able to see all around me, maybe even a whole wingspan here. But let's see the quality of the glass. So this is zoomed in to 22 millimeters, and then we'll zoom it back out to 11. There's 11 millimeters, just to give you a wide idea, or just to give you a rough idea of what it looks like. So in my initial testings, I've had this lens now for the better part of about two weeks. I like the lens. It's supposed to have image stabilization built into the lens, but I can't really tell that. Now, granted that the camera body itself does not have IBIS built into it, is that something that's problematic? So I see a lot of people that have the Canon M50 and they use the Joby little gorilla pod while they're vlogging with it and I think that they're using digital image stabilization just on enabled not the enhanced and maybe it's something about the Joby that actually makes it a lot more usable but then again when you use a three axis gimbal like this you can't have any more buttery smooth footage than using a three axis gimbal It looks like my fig tree is about to start budding out again. I wonder how many thousands of figs we're going to get this year. Every year it seems to produce more and more figs, which is kind of cool. I enjoy it. My daughter enjoys it. And if you like figs, you get to pluck them right off the tree. The first time she ever had one, she thought it was going to be like um, a fig Newton. And she was like, doesn't even look like a Big Newton. And it's like, no, honey, that's, that's a cookie. This is a real fig. Is this a lens that I would recommend? 
Well, I would say that if you have the finances and you want a wide angle lens and you're gonna use this either in conjunction with a gimbal or maybe with that Joby Gorillapod. Now, I've got a lot of different tripods. I do not have a Joby, so I can't speak to that. I may actually bite the bullet and purchase a Joby Gorillapod just to see, does it actually help when you're vlogging to smooth out some of that footage? But for the price of this lens being at $399, $400 plus tax, it's a lot of money for a lens for a camera that you can now get in the $500-ish range. Now, I do like the Canon M50. It's performed very well for me. I like a lot of the features of it. It's got audio input. It's got a flip-out screen. It's 1080p 30 is very nice. You got 1080p 24 frames a second. You got 1080p 60. If you want to go higher frame rate, if you want to go 120, you're going to have to step it down to 720 and nobody wants to do that. Um, in the 720, it is very mushy. 4K, like I mentioned earlier, has a massive crop on the 4K for this image sensor. So keeping that in mind, if you do go wide angle, it will help offset that massive crop if you go to an 11 millimeter. Tell me in the comment section below, what do you think about this Canon 11 to 22? Number one, what did you think about the video quality that came out of this lens? And number two, if you have the 11 to 22, what has your experience been with this lens with the Canon M50? Till next time, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Can't really think of anything else to say.